गुड आफ्टरनून मैम इन बिजनेस स्टैटिस्टिक सब्जेक्ट्स मेजर्स ऑफ सेंट्रल टेंडेंसी टॉपिक टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन मेन कंटिन्यूस सीरीज एक्सक्लूसिव क्लास इंटरवल्स नथिंग बट ए नॉर्मल क्लास इंटरवल्स सो वंस यू सी द क्वेश्चन हियर सो कैलकुलेट द एथमेटिक मीन फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग डेटा ही हेज गिवेन कैलकुलेट द एथमेटिक मीन फ्रॉम द फॉलोइंग डेटा सो इन द प्रीवियस क्लास आई हैव सेट दैट इन द क्वेश्चन ही वोट बी गिविंग दैट वेदर इट इज अ डिस्क्रिट सीरीज इंडिविजुअल सीरीज और कंटिन्यूस सीरीज वी हैव टू फाइंड बाई सेंग द क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू फाइंड दैट वेदर इट कम्स अंडर इंडिविजुअल सीरीज डिस्क्रिट सीरीज और कंटिन्यूस सीरीज दैट वी हैव टू फाइंड ओके सो हियर already in the previous class what i have explained individual series discrete series i have explained so how the continuous series question will be there in that first one exclusive class intervals exclusive class intervals means nothing but directly the class intervals will be given like this 10 to 20 20 to 30 30 to 40 40 to 50 50 to 60 60 to 70 or 0 to 10 10 to 20 in that way so by saying this we can say that it is a continuous series it is a continuous normal continuous series it is okay so frequency nothing but number of servants he has given nothing but wages who are getting between 10 to 20 between 10 to 20 how many of servants are there here one wages are getting between 20 to 30 how many servants are there here four wages are getting between 30 to 40 how many servants are there here 10 so in that way okay the information he has given so here what we have to calculate arithmetic mean nothing but average we have to calculate what we have to calculate average mean mean we have to calculate here okay so how we have to do first i am going to explain the direct method okay see once calculation of arithmetic mean direct method first we have to take class intervals ma which are given in the question and frequency as it is which is there in the question that frequency we have to take and mid values so be careful how to calculate the mid value here how to calculate the mid value here nothing but here i will write it down see here class interval is there na class interval is how much here 10 to 20 class interval is how much here 10 to 20 10 plus 20 sorry 10 okay see here ma 10 plus 20 divided by 2 10 plus 20 divided by 2 10 plus 20 divided by 2 means how much 30 okay 30 divided by 2 30 divided by 2 is equal to how much 15 30 divided by 2 is how much ma 15 you will be getting how much you will be getting 15 you will be getting so once again i will explain the class interval reason c ma sorry ma, mid value so here how to calculate the mid value means you have to add 10 plus 20 class interval lower limit upper limit both you have to add 10 plus 20 divided by 2 then you will be getting a 15 20 plus 30 how much ma 20 plus 30 20 plus 30 divided by 2 20 plus 30 divided by 2 how much will be getting 25 30 plus 40 divided by 2 how much will be getting 35 40 plus 50 divided by 2 how much will be getting 50 45 have you understood how to calculate the mid value for calculating the mid value class intervals is there ma lower limit plus upper limit both you have to add and divided by 2 you have to do then you will be getting a mid values after getting the mid values actually what is the formula for us mean is equal to what is the formula for us mean is equal to sigma fm by n so sigma fm by n so m means nothing but mid values n means nothing but mid values okay f into m you have to do 1 into 15 15 4 into 25 100 10 into 35 350 22 into 45 990 30 into uh, 55 1650 7 into 65 455 okay have you understood here so once again i will explain listen carefully here first of all we have to take the class intervals and frequency as it is which are given in the question mid value how to calculate the mid value class interval lower limit plus upper limit 10 plus 20 by divided by 2 you will be getting 15 20 plus 30 divided by 2 you will be getting a 25 after that now multiply f into m so after multiplying you will be getting these values now total the fm after totaling uh, after totaling the fm you will be getting a sigma fm here and n is nothing but total of frequency n is nothing but total of frequency now see the formula ma mean is equal to sigma fm by n mean is equal to sigma fm by n okay sigma fm how much we got here 363560 divided by 74 so mean is equal to divide after dividing how much you got here 48.108 this in case of mean exclusive series continuous series okay direct method it is okay same question same question i am saying uh, for calculation of shortcut method okay so see here 
in case of shortcut method same question 10 to 20 same i have taken same frequency and mid values as it is and mid values okay mid values are what i have said ma lower limit plus upper limit class interval both you have to add by 2 then you will be getting a mid values okay afterwards till here it is same afterwards what we have to do means we have to calculate the d we have to calculate the d here how to calculate the d means mid value minus a a means what assumed a means what ma assume value so this assume value from where we have to select from mid value we have to select this assume value from where we have to select from mid values we have to select so here i have selected the least value here i have select the least value in mid value which is the least value ma 15 in mid value which in which is the least value ma 15 so i have selected the 15 here what i have selected here 15 so a is nothing but what is a ma a is nothing but 15 a is nothing but 15 any value you can select but due to the so if suppose we have taken a bigger value you will be getting a negative nothing but minus you will be getting minus symbols you will be getting there you will be a little bit of confusion that's why i have taken a small value least value i have taken from the mid value that will be the a here that will be the a then now what we have to do from mid value we have to minus the a 15 minus 15 0 25 15 10 35 15 20 45 15 30 55 15 55 15 40 55 15 60 55 15 70 55 minus 50 okay so once again i will say explain sima d how we have to calculate here d mid value minus a mid value minus a a is nothing but assume value that a from where we have got that a from the mid values from mid value we have selected the a so which is which value we have selected 15 we have selected so 15 minus 15 okay na 15 minus 15 how much you got zero here 25 minus 15 how much we got 10 35 minus 15 20 45 minus 15 30 55 minus 15 40 65 minus 15 50 we got okay this is the d after with the d dash plus d dash so how to calculate the d dash means once you see my here d you see observe the d your difference is how much here 10 10 10 10 difference is there how much difference is there 10 10 10 10 difference is there so d divided by 10 how will get the d dash first you say first you have to see the difference here if suppose there is a difference of 555 d divided by 5 if suppose there is a difference of 100 d divided by 100 here the difference is how much 10 so that's why d divided by 10 nothing but this d we are dividing by 10 10 we 10 from where we got from this difference only okay here the difference is that is a 10 okay so 10, 0 by 10 0 10 by 10 1 20 by 10 2 30 by 10 3 40 by 10 4 50 by 10 5 okay that will be a d dash afterwards next what we have to do f into d dash f into d dash 1 into 0 0 4 into 1 4 so f into d dash you have to multiply ma this into this this into this okay 1 into 0 0 4 into 1 4 10 into 2 20 22 into 3 66 30 into 4 120 7 into 5 35 okay so here we got finally we got the fd dash out of us now total the fd dash you will be getting a sigma fd dash how much 245 and n is equal to how much here 74 now mean is equal to shortcut method formula a plus sigma fd dash by n into i a is nothing but 15 which we have taken here assume value na that value sigma fd dash is how much 245 n is equal to how much 74 i is equal to 10 apply in the formula ma A 15 plus sigma f d dash how much we got 245 n is how much 74 i is equal to 10 now first divide this 245 divided divided by 74 you do you will be getting a 3.3108 into 10 into 10 so first year what we have to do ma first we have to multiply we should not add first we have to multiply so 3.3108 into 10 how much we got here 33.108 now plus 48.108 okay so by saying once only you won't get the problem okay see twice and practice the sum okay this is the short continuous series continuous series mean shortcut method okay ma if you have any doubts you can ask me once again clear